Morning, Trainiacs. Now, if there is a place that I think beginner triathletes lose the most amount of time in their first few races, it is on the bike. It's not the swim, which everyone's scared of. It's not the run, which is the hardest. It's the bike. So right after I get back from this groovy little ride, I'm gonna give you six things that you need to work on if you're a beginner triathlete and you want to save all that time. Wow! triathletes start taking up triathlon they're going to be training on a road bike now when you're training on a road bike you're really upright and you've got you see that just a lot of frontal surface area about 85 percent of the drag that comes from pushing yourself forward comes from your body so you want to narrow that frontal surface area up as much as possible now, to just go and scrunch, scrunch yourself down a lot, you're closing up your hips, which is gonna make it really hard to get off the bike and run well. So the first thing that beginner triathletes should do, especially if you're training on a road bike, is take that saddle, move it forward as much as you can, and then you might have to raise up your saddle just a little bit, and what that's gonna do is it's going to open up your hips little bit it's gonna tire out your quads and your glutes more equally so that you can get off the bike and run well okay now the next thing that you want to do related to that is you want to narrow up your frontal surface area instead of just riding on the side of those bullhorn handlebars like this creating a big scoop with your chest get yourself a set of arrow bars just clip them on the front of that road bike but instead of taking that adage and be like arrow is everything getting yourself as low as possible it's going to be really tough for beginner triathletes because you're not adjusted to that new position so keep it nice and relaxed keep it upright but worry about getting in nice and tight and in a position that you can hold for the entire duration of your race comfortably that is the best position for you not way down here if it's not comfortable next thing you got to do is you got to learn to drink with one hand you got to be confident enough to stay in that arrow position reach down for the bottle and then drink and put it back because when you come up to drink you're basically just creating a big wind sail so what you can do is go into a parking lot and start going really really slow nice controlled area get down into that position and instead of worrying about the water bottle just worry about taking one hand off the handlebars just at a time and then graduate from one hand just going out into the middle of nowhere go down and just touch your heel come back into the arrow position touch your heel just keep doing that until that feels comfortable then graduate to going down touching the water bottle with each hand and coming back into the arrow position. And eventually, you're gonna be able to just pound out really hard efforts in that aerodynamic position. Go down, grab the water bottle, drink the water, put it down, and you're gonna be staying aerodynamic the entire time. Delicious. Next thing, for the beginner triathlete, with regards to your bike training, whether it's on an indoor trainer, or a spin bike at a gym or outside, your training should be one of two different types. Your challenges are going to be going very fast or very long. I mean, everyone says, oh, when I get onto the bike, I'm gonna crush it. But you know what? Racing 
Even just for a sprint distance, 20 kilometers is something you have never done as a kid. It's something you've never done going out for a bike ride with your spouse, with your friends, with your family. It's entirely different. So it's going to be a challenge to race fast for as long as you need to in whatever your first distance of race is. So your main workout should be either really intense, we're talking somewhere like 20 to 40 minutes, but eyes popping out of your head intense, really building that mitochondrial density that allows your muscles to process oxygen well in your muscle fibers. That only happens from really intense training, but it also helps you with endurance or just actually going long. And this is where I talk about over distance rides, doing 30K rides for a sprint distance, 60K rides for an Olympic, 120K rides for a half Ironman, up to 200K rides for an Ironman. This is going to prepare you really well without taking a ton of time. Next thing, get yourself a clean drive train. Oh, this is awful. A clean drive train, that means a clean front chain ring, a clean chain that has been lubed, a new cassette that has been lubed, a chain that is not rusty, a chain that is not stretchy. All of these things are free speed. Instead of going and spending thousands of dollars on a new bike, stick with whatever bike you got, but take it to a bike shop, get them to rework your drivetrain, and you are going to be a long way ahead of any other new triathlete out there that is grinding out on a rusty old chain that isn't tuned right, that's not shifting well. Basically, you could lose, I wanna say it's up to like 10 or 15% of your power with a drivetrain that is not tuned for racing. Fix up your drivetrains. This is awful. I'm ashamed. Finally, if you want to step it up and spend a little bit of money, get yourself an aero helmet. Most triathletes, when they're starting out, just get a standard road helmet. Now, these aero helmets aren't going to cost any more than a nice road helmet, but this aero helmet, I'm using the laser bullet right now, is basically as aerodynamic as one of those super duper aerodynamic helmets. It's really close, but still looks good enough that you can wear this just with road riding. It doesn't look as ridiculous as one of those Astro Boy helmets. And this, which you can get for two to $300 at most, is going to make you as fast as a one to two $3,000 set of wheels. This is your best dollar per speed purchase you can make. So there you go, beginner triathletes. If you aren't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button below. And if you are subscribed and you wanna know the details of that workout and every workout that I've done, go to triathlonterran.com forward slash training log. And every single week we send out details of all of the workouts that I do and why I do them throughout the week. Later, Trainiacs. Good luck.